Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. So today we are going to crochet this very cute little dinosaur. So the materials are listed at the beginning of the video. Get your materials ready and let's get started. Okay, so we are going to start by making the legs and we are going to make them in pairs. And by pairs, I mean we are going to join the first two and then the other two. Okay, so let me show you how to make the leg. Okay, so we are going to start by making the magic ring and then we'll do five single crochets into the magic ring. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then pull the yarn to close the gap. And then I'll place my marker over here. So now in the second round, we are going to increase each stitch around. So we are going to have a total of 10 stitches. So increase and then increase the next stitch and then increase in all the remaining three stitches. Okay, so now in the third round, we are going to do single crochets all the way around, but in the back loops only. So we are going to go into the back loop of the next stitch and do single crochet, then do single crochet in the next back loop. And we are going to continue doing this all the way round. Okay, so now after we are done for the next two rounds, which is round four and round five, we are going to do single crochets all the way around uh, for a total of 10 stitches in each round. So we are going to continue and do single crochet. All the way. All the way to the end in this round and the next round which is the fifth round so I'll see you when you're done with the fifth round so that we continue together okay so when we're done with the fifth round now for the first leg you're going to uh, do a chain one and fasten off like the way I did this and now we're going to make the second leg the same exact way but do not cut off the yarn okay so now i'm gonna show you how to join the two parts together the two legs and to join the two legs together we are first going to do a chain one and then i'll take the other leg where i left off over here and i'll do a single crochet Okay, and then after that, I'll continue and do six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, 
so after the six single crochets over there I'm going to place a marker so I just take a marker over here I want to use different colors because uh, we're gonna use it later so I'll place a marker over there and then I'll increase three times so I'll do an increase and then increase again and then increase again the third time okay so now after we are done with that now right uh, before the chain one that we did in the corner uh, stitch over here we're going to do a single crochet and then we'll do a single crochet in the chain one stitch that we did over here and then we'll do again a single crochet in the corner stitch over here of the chain one that we did like that and then we'll continue the next uh, side and then before we continue, uh, we'll continue uh, to increase in the next three stitches. So we'll increase three times. So increase the first time, increase the second time, and increase the third time. Okay, and then after that increase, I'll place another marker over here. And then I'll continue to do seven single crochets. So single crochet one, two, three, four, five. six and seven okay so now uh, when we are done with that in the chain one that we made over here we are going to do an increase so we'll just increase over here And then now we'll be done joining the two legs together so what I'll do I'll do a chain one and cut off the yarn like that okay so now we'll do the other pair of legs the exact way that we've done this one as you can see so I'll have two pairs like this and remember to place your markers because we are going to join uh, our little dinosaur over here okay so now when we are done we are going to join uh, the two uh, the two parts together okay so let's do that okay so to join the two parts together now you remember where we put our markers over here I'm going to put uh, my crochet hook through over here and on the other side where I placed my marker in that stitch I'm going to put my crochet hook over there okay so I'm just going to pull the end through like that and I'm going to do a chain one so that does not count as a stitch so starting from where we've joined I'm going to slip stitch all through 14 slip stitches okay so starting where I joined I'm going to do a just to make sure 
so I'll do a slip stitch through both parts so one and then we'll continue to slip stitch two three then four five six Seven. So you have to be careful when joining so that you don't leave a stitch. Then eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen and fourteen, like that. Okay, so as you can see, we've reached uh, where we have the other marker. Okay, so now we'll continue like that on the other side uh, of the edges, and then we'll do um, we'll do sixteen single crochets okay so we'll continue over here and do single crochet one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 then we'll increase in the next stitch and then we'll do 15 single crochets so one two three four Five, six, seven, eight. 
eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And fifteen. Okay, so now I'm going to remove all the markers since I don't need them. I'm just going to use my previous marker and put it over here. So now we have a total of 35 stitches. Okay, so now from the next round, which is the eighth round, until the 10th round, so we're gonna have eight, nine, 10. So the next three rounds, we are going to do single crochets all the way around. So we'll have a total of 35 stitches in each round okay so we are just going to continue and do single crochets and continue doing single crochets all the way around so we'll have a total of 35 stitches and continue until you get to the 10th round and then we start the 11th round together okay so guys uh, when you're done with the 10th round this is how our little dinosaur looks like as you can see I've already started stuffing the legs so you should do the same so now in the 11th round we are going to start by doing 15 single crochets so we'll do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so now we are going to, uh, after we're done with the 15 single crochets, we are going to do a chain 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then when we do the uh, chain five, we are going to skip seven stitches. So we'll count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here in the eighth stitch is where we'll start to do single crochets all the way to the end. So this one is for the little tail. So we'll continue and do single crochets all the way to the end. Okay, so now after we are done with that now in the 12th round we are going to do single crochets all the way round so we'll have a total of 12 stitches so continue to do single crochets and continue all the way until we get here and then I'll show you how to do single crochets over here Okay, so when we, you get where we did the chain five, we are going to continue and do single crochets into the uh, chain stitches over here. 
so continue doing single crochets And then we'll continue to do single crochets as usual. And continue doing single crochets all the way to the end. Okay, so when we get to the end now, uh, in the top round, in the 13th round, sorry, we are going to start by doing top single crochets. So continue and do single crochet one, two, three, four, and continue until you have top single crochets. Okay, so when we are done with the top uh, single crochets, we are going to decrease five times. Okay, so we are going to decrease one. Then decrease the second time and then decrease again three more times. Okay, so after we are done with that, we are going to do single crochets in the remaining 11 stitches. So we'll have a total of 28 stitches. So continue to do single crochets all the way to the end. Okay, so now in round 14, we are going to start by doing 10 single crochets. Okay, so single crochet one, two three and continue until you have 10 single crochets okay so after that we are going to decrease five times so we'll decrease one two three four and five okay and then we'll do single crochets in the remaining eight stitches okay so now for the 15th round we are going to start by doing eight single crochets okay so we are going to do single crochet one two three and continue until you have eight single crochets okay so after that now we are going to decrease four times okay so we'll decrease one decrease again And then decrease again uh, the third time and decrease again one last time okay and then after that we'll do single crochets in the remaining seven stitches So now uh, in round 16 
we are going to start by doing nine single crochets so continue to do one two and continue till you have nine stitches okay so now after the nine single crochets we are going to decrease two times so decrease one and decrease again one more time okay and then after that we'll do single crochets in the remaining six stitches okay so now we have a total of uh, 17 stitches so now in round 17 uh, we are going to start by doing six single crochets so one two three four five and six okay and then after that we'll decrease four times so decrease one two then three and one last time decrease and then we'll do single crochet in the remaining three stitches okay so now we have a total of 13 stitches now in round 18 we are going to start by doing six single crochets so we'll do single crochet one two three four five and six and then after that we'll do one decrease so decrease and then we'll do single crochets in the remaining uh, stitches so continue and do single crochet and single crochet okay so now uh, after we're done with that now we have a total of 12 stitches now from uh, the next round which is round 19 until round 25 we are going to do single crochets all the way in each round for a total of 12 stitches in each round so continue to do single crochets in the next seven rounds so that will be the neck and then we'll start the next round together okay so also i forgot to say before you continue to finish the neck make sure you stuff the body because it's gonna be hard once you get to the top so first starve and then continue to make the neck okay so after you're done with the seven rounds for the neck this is how it should look like so now make sure you uh, starve your little dinosaur uh, all the way firmly uh, at the neck now we are going to start uh, making the head in the 26th round and we are going to start by doing three single crochets so we'll do single crochet one two and three and then we'll increase five times 
okay so we'll increase one increase the second time increase the third time then increase the fourth time and increase one more time okay and then we'll do single crochets in the remaining four stitches Okay, so now we have a total of 17 stitches. So now in the 27th round, we are going to do uh, four single crochets. So single crochet, one, two, three, and four. And then we'll increase six times. So increase So increase one, then increase two, increase three, increase four, then increase five. and increase six and then we'll do single crochets in the, in the remaining seven stitches So now we have a total of 23 stitches okay so now for the next three rounds which is from round 28 until round 30 we are going to do single crochets all the way in each round for a total of 23 stitches in each round okay so continue doing single crochets until the 30th round okay so now after the 30th row this is how our dinosaur looks like so now in the 31st row we are going to start by doing six single crochets so we'll do single crochet one two three four five and six and then after that we'll decrease six times so we'll decrease one, two, three, four. five and six okay and then we'll do single crochets in the remaining five stitches Okay, so now we have a total of 17 stitches. So now in the next round, which is round 32, we are going to start by doing three single crochets. So we'll do single crochet, one, single crochet, two, 
single crochet two and single crochet three and then after that we'll decrease five times so decrease one two three four and five and then do single crochets in the remaining four stitches okay so guys as you can see now after i'm um, done with the four single crochets i've inserted the doll eyes over here so we insert between the 29th and 30th round uh like this and then after that you stuff fully to the top because the next round is our last round so the next round which is the uh, 33 round we are going to decrease all the way around six times okay so we'll have a total of six single crochets okay so we'll continue to decrease Then decrease again. And decrease all the way round. Okay, so after we get to the end I'm going to remove my marker then slip stitch into the next stitch and cut off the yarn like that then I'm just going to finish off that and we are done uh, with the body so now uh, we'll start making the tail okay so now we are going to make the tail and for the tail we are going to attach our yarn over here in the skipped stitches that we did and we are going to attach the yarn with a chain one so that doesn't count as a stitch and after doing the chain one we are going to do single crochet in the same stitch and we'll continue to do six single crochets so one two three four five and six and then we'll do a single crochet here at the corner of this stitch and then we'll continue uh, on the other side uh, into the chain that we made so we'll do five single crochets 
So one. And two, three, four, and five. Okay, and then at the corner here, we are going to do a single crochet. Okay, so now over here, I'll place my marker. And then I'll continue into the round two of the tail. And I'll start by doing eight single crochets so I'll do single crochet one two three four five six seven and eight and then I'll decrease two times okay so decrease and decrease the second time And then we'll do single crochets in the remaining two stitches. Okay, so now we have a total of 12 stitches. Okay, so now we'll continue into round three. And in round three, we are going to do single crochets all the way around. So we'll have a total of 12 stitches. So continue doing single crochets. And continue until you get to the end. Okay, so now after we are done with that now, in the fourth round, we are going to uh, start by doing 9 single crochets. So continue and do nine single crochets so one two three and continue until you have nine single crochets okay so after that now we are going to decrease and then we'll do single crochet at the end Okay, so now we have a total of 11 stitches. So now in round five, we are going to do single crochets all the way around. So we'll have a total of 11 stitches. So continue and do single crochets all the way round. Okay, so now in round six, uh, we're going to start by decreasing. So we'll decrease. Okay, and then we'll do four single crochets. So one, two, three, and four. And then we'll decrease again okay 
and then we'll do three single crochets Okay, so now we have a total of uh, nine stitches okay so now in round seven we are going to do single crochets all the way around so we'll have a total of nine stitches so continue and do single crochet single crochets all the way round okay so now after that now in the eighth round we are going to do single crochet then decrease and we are going to do that three times so we'll have a total of six stitches so we'll do single crochet then decrease then single crochet and decrease then single crochet and decrease okay so now after that in the ninth round which is the last round we are going to decrease three times so we'll have a total of three stitches okay so we'll decrease so decrease Decrease again the second time. And decrease one more time. Okay, and then now I'm just going to slip stitch over here. And cut off the yarn. Like that. And then I'm going to finish off. And cut off. Okay. So now. Uh, this is how it looks like so now uh, we're going to make the little heart uh, to attach it over here on the body so that one is optional if you want to make a heart or not so you can choose not to okay so for the little heart I'm going to start by making a magic ring and then now in the magic ring I'm going to start by doing two treble stitches in the magic ring so this is one treble and do another treble and then I'll do two double crochets into the magic ring and then I'll do two half double crochets into the magic ring and then I'll do a chain two so one two then I'll do two half double crochets into the magic ring And then two double crochets and then two treble stitches
then I'll do a chain two so one two and then I'll slip stitch and then I'll do a chain one and cut off the yarn like that and then I'll pull through like that as you can see it's a little hard then I'll tie these two yarns together to tighten it and then I'm going to attach it over here okay so let's attach it okay so guys as you can see I've already finished attaching uh, the little heart over here so I just used a uh, yarn and a needle but you can use a fabric glue if you want so that's it for the video today if you enjoyed give this uh, video a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel until next time bye